Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to Destiny Tracker, it is PTT and today guys we are taking a look at all three exotic weapons currently in the beta. If you are a hunter you will get the Sunshot Hand Cannon, if you are a Titan you will get Sweet Business and if you are a Warlock you will get the Risk Runner. Now in this video we're going to aim to talk about what they are, how they work, how you get them and all of that kind of jazz. So without further ado let's just jump straight into it. First up then guys, we are going to be inspecting my favourite character and what is in my opinion one of the better exotics out of the three and no I'm not just biased because I'm a titan main but we are going to take a look at sweet business okay this is the Gatling gun type looking auto rifle I will pull it out now here it is guys look at how damn cool that thing is and when we first look at it I want to talk about something that I've seen people talking about and that is whether or not these exotics are locked to certain classes or not. My personal opinion is going to be yes. The reason for that is, you know, a hunter would look pretty stupid carrying one of these. It is a pretty badass gun. Second of all, through all of the trailers and gameplay reveals and things like that, we have seen the uh, the hunter use the Sunshot hand cannon but no other class. We've seen the, hun uh, the Titan using Sweet Business but no other class has seen using it. So I do personally think that these are going to be um, class specific, how we will actually get them. Well, we will talk about that later on. For now though, let's take a quick look at this weapon. So here we go, Payday. This is the first intrinsic talent. Larger magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. I actually have to be perfectly honest, I don't really hip fire. <laughs> Something I've never been a fan of, um, so I don't actually know how good this is. You know, you can you, you can all te test it out if you are playing as a Titan in the beta yourself. So again, let me know what you think of this. Then we have a poly polygonal rifling. Yeah, I always get these things funny, right? Barrel optimized for recoil reduction. Basically, it increases the weapon stability. If you look in the bottom right hand corner down here, guys, you can actually see this one here. This is the stability bar. That is very, very, very good for an auto rifle. Next, then we have high caliber rounds. Shots from this weapon knock the target back further, slightly increases range. This is actually pretty cool for PvP and PvE, right? I have tested all these weapons in both the Crucible, in the Strike, in the Homecoming mission, and I gotta say, yes, they are all good. Some of them have a few different issues that I would say are just because of, you know, what they are, a hand cannon, an SMG, or, or an auto rifle. But overall, they all act very nicely. Next then, here we have business time. Holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire and automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine. This is a really, really nice talent, especially when you know it's there and you kind of consciously think about what you're doing as your mag starts getting lower. You can either you know drop behind your Titan barricade to reload or walk over ammo and put it straight into the mag and just constantly keep firing. Finally here then we have composite stock. This weapon has a versatile dual purpose stock. This slightly increases stability, slightly increases handling speed. Now what's notable guys is there are no other perks, okay? What we know now from Destiny 1 Exotics is that you normally have a perk tree and you can swap up, you know, half a dozen different things um, and kind of make the weapon how you prefer to play. We also don't have any shaders or weapon mods anywhere showing up here, okay? If we actually back out and inspect one of these legendaries, you will see that we have a place for shaders. We have a place for infusion. If we come down to some of these, they also have weapon mods available to attach. Exotics don't have these. So how they're going to make exotics unique, a little bit unique, I, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, there we go. Okay, that is Sweet Business, the Titan Auto Rifle. Now you might be asking if you haven't played the beta yet, how do you get this weapon? Well, that is pretty easy, guys. When you play through the homecoming mission after about the first minute or so, you will eventually come across Lord Shax. He will tell you that his armory is open to you, Guardian. You will walk inside, pick up a weapon off the rack, and depending on what class you are, you will get your exotic. So, you know, if you're the Titan, it will be Sweet Business. If you're the Hunter, it will be Sunshot. And if you are the Warlock, it will be Risk Runner. 
talking of the sun shot, let's take a look at that next then. The Hunter's Exotic Hand Cannon. Here it is, a pretty beautiful weapon, no doubt about it. In its perks then we have Sunburn, this is the intrinsic talent. This weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from Sunshot. Next we have Chambered Compensator, Stable Barrel Attachment. Increased stability, improves recoil direction, slightly decreases handling speed. We have Accurized Rounds, this weapon can fire longer distances, increases range. And again, if you look down here guys, that actually has a pretty damn sick range stability and handling and to say that impact is pretty high as well i expect we'll see a fair bit of this to start off with in pvp next then we have sunblast targets killed with sunshot explode in solar energy and my god do they i will pull up a, a, a clip in the background now it is a very very cool talent this okay it kind of reminds me of like firefly i would say you know where they explode when when you get the precision kills Pretty cool talent, I like it, I like the look of it, and it goes very nicely with this hand cannon. Yeah, I'll, I'll be looking at the year two fate bringer, year two, year three, year four, technically, what are we on? Destiny two. Destiny two fate bringer, well, it could maybe. Finally then we have textured grip. The friction on this weapon's grip is particularly strong, so this greatly increases handling speed and slightly decreases stability. Now, it says that it, 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 it decreases the stability, but again, look, look down here, guys. Look, this stability is crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Now, again, I've used this weapon extensively. It is a very nice hand cannon. I like playing with it. I've got to say, again, though, uh, it's a hand cannon, you know? As much as it is nice, and I love my Fate Bringer and things through, through Destiny 1, I'm not a major fan of hand cannons. I do prefer my scout rifles. I do prefer my auto rifles and things like that. But it is a very nice weapon nonetheless. Again, you will get this through the homecoming mission if you start off as a hunter. Next then, let's take a look at the final exotic and that is Risk Runner. This is the Warlock submachine gun. Again, look at this. A pretty outlandish looking weapon here. Looks very nice. It handles very nice. I'm quite surprised how the SMGs are. I'm still a little bit sat on the fence as to whether I like them, love them or hate them. I haven't quite made my mind up. I need some more time to actually play with them. But the weapon perks here when taking arc damage, this weapon becomes a more powerful and resists incoming arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. Next then we have Arrowhead Break. Uh, lightly vented barrel, greatly controls recoil, increases handling speed. Next then we have extended mag, we've seen this before, this weapon has a greatly increased magazine size but reloads much slower. This is where it gets very interesting, superconductor, when arc conductor is active, shots fired have the chance to become a chain lightning and return ammo. We've seen something very very similar to this in Destiny 1 with the Zalu supercell. And again, you know, I do believe that they have taken some perks of exotics from Destiny 1 and put them on weapons. They've also taken some perks off of Destiny 1's armor and they've put those into subclasses. For example, the armamentarian on the Titan gives you double grenades. And in Destiny 2, it's actually built into your subclass tree as a striker Titan to have double grenade so again very cool but i digress finally guys here we have short action stop this weapon is especially easy to grip greatly increases the handling speed and that wraps up the third and final exotic weapon that you can get hold of currently in the beta to move on to again what i think personally about the weapons being you know tied to certain classes i honestly don't know it is my belief they will be, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Will we actually get these in Destiny 2 when we first start up and we go through the Homecoming mission, or has that just been put in for us to actually have a bit of fun and play with during the beta? Again, I don't know, but I would love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. But for now, guys, that is about going to wrap up the video. That is all three exotics currently in Destiny 2. By far, my favourite is Sweet Business, followed up by the Hunter's Sunshot and the Warlock's Risk Runner. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty more Destiny 2 videos coming your way. But for now, Guardians, thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, we'll catch you all soon.